Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisy and today I'm here with my beautiful friend, Alondra. And today we're going to be reviewing a very awesome collection, KKW Fragrance. So KKW is a brand that I've been wanting to try forever. Um, there's a few that I have smelled prior to even buying these. And then there's some that I bought blindedly just based on YouTube videos. Um, but all I loved. I could not wait. I was going to wait to smell these with her for the first time so it could be a true review for you guys. But I cannot wait. So first I just want to talk about a little bit of like our fragrance taste, what we like individually. And we're just going to start from there. So why don't you tell us what your scent profile or your favorite scents are um so my favorite types of scents would be like more like fresh clean flowery type i don't really like the sweet ones like vanilla cinnamon i don't know like whatever sweet is like this one yeah um, so those are my favorite ones um yeah plain and simple <laughs> nice so i'm with her on the floor like light floral that's one of my favorites also, but like she said, she hates the vanilla. I love vanilla. I love those sweet, like... Christmassy. What do they call them? Like gourmand? Have you heard that term before? No. Gourmand. It stands for, well, I think. I'm not a... Okay, disclaimer. We love perfumes, but we're not, like, super experts. <laughs> like some of these people out here, which is fine, you know. We're having fun doing this. And so, yeah, gourmand, I believe it stands for, like perfumes that are like just like dessert like like really sweet like you pass by and people are like whoa that's i want to eat that i want those scents that you just want to like eat like it's like a dessert so yeah that's my scent profile just very like floral i guess coconut um vanilla marshmallow and i'm missing one okay so let's just get started we made our diy little cards um we labeled them so we can put each set on them we're going to talk about a set and talk about the the bottle the packaging and then we're each going to spray our own card and we are going to discuss what we think it smells like the first sm or smell scent that we get from it and then we're going to go ahead and read the notes to see what it actually was and if we got anything right Okay, and then at the end, we'll rate them all, 1 through 10. Yes. Sounds good? Sounds okay. Good. KK Body 2. A little backstory on this. I have been wanting this beautiful sculpture, Kim K, <laughs> for the longest. I've smelt this many, many times in stores. So, let's talk about the packaging. What do you think? Well, <laughs> very pretty. Very pretty. And we know um, what shape this is. Yes. Um... So I, I like it. It's like very unique. I don't think yeah. I've ever seen a perfume like that. And it's like artistic. Mm -hmm. My, you would look at this and be like, wow, that's a naked woman. But but not just any naked woman. Yeah, it's Kim K. Like <laughs> perfection. What? So the way this was packaged was like really beautiful. Um, All of her fragrances were packaged really well. I will give them that. Like not only is like the actual bottle like really nice, but the packaging itself was like so much thought was put into it. Okay, so let's take Good a story. sniff. Let that um, kind of sit. Ooh, I already smell it. <laughs> it sits nicely on my hand. Yeah. <laughs> the curves. <laughs> the curves <laughs> fit nicely. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's intense, huh? Pretty intense. Oh, I love this one. Okay. What's the first thing that comes to mind? The first thing that hit, I feel like, was cinnamon. Cinnamon? Wow. Yes. To me, it's coconut. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's crazy because, you know, like, people, I think people smell different. They do. Right? <laughs> but it's, like, it's weird because at first I got, like, this really strong hint of cinnamon and sweetness. And then, but then it goes from, like, sweet to fresh. And I don't know. Yeah. No? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the first thing I got was coconut. Hers was cinnamon. Now Weird. that it's drying down, what it, what is your thoughts on it? Um, it smells like my childhood for some reason. Your childhood? <laughs> wow. I smell fresh, coconut, beach, uh, sunscreen. Okay, I can start. I'm starting to smell that now. 
Okay, but let me pull up the notes. Top notes, coconut nectar, neroli, which I don't know what that is, mandarin orange, bergamot. The middle notes are manoi oil, ylang ylang, orange blossom, jasmine. The base notes are coconut milk, musk, and amberette. I love this for like vacation. I rate this a 7 out of 10. I give this a solid uh, 6. 6, yes. Okay. We Crystal. have KKW Crystal Gardenia. Okay. So Crystal Gardenia is another one of what they say Kim's must-haves on her website. Um, packaging is so beautiful, so chic, but like everyone else mentioned in their videos, it does not stand, which is annoying. Yeah. That so is they cool. have to lay flat, which still looks pretty on your like little perfume tray, but it kind of gets lost behind others because it's laying down. You yeah, know, it would be so much prettier if it was standing. Like they should have like at least like a little stand yeah. to where like it can just. Good idea. Stay up. So let's smell it. This one, obviously, I mean the name is Gardenia, so just hint what you're gonna smell there. Hopefully, I actually get a note that's actually in there. Right. Wow. That's gardenia all the way. Hold on. This one smells very fresh. Like, yes, like... It smells really good. Like, you know, a lot of people don't like this because they're like, I don't like gardenia, but I love gardenia. I actually love it. I'm very picky with my perfumes, but this is very nice. It's very, very, like, fresh, clean. Like, yes. Like, like you I, showered really good. Yes. Like, <laughs> so what was the first <sighs> hint you got? Gardenia. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of like a given. That's yeah. a name. It's, the top notes are pear, uh -huh. water lily, pink grapefruit. The middle notes are gardenia, tuberose, tiara flower. And then the base nose is musk, sandalwood, and amber. Yeah. It I makes can. sense. All these make sense. Very fresh, like, floral. And there is a lot of white floral. There's four white flowers in here. But, like, it smells very, like, floral, but it doesn't smell like a typical floral scent. Yeah. So, what do you rate that perfume, 1 through 10? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Oh, hold on. Crystal Gardenia. I really love this. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. I, I would give wear this. it... An eight. Yeah, would wear this any day. Honestly, like, what would, would this be more of a spring summer set scent for you, or all yeah. year round? What? Well, all year round, it would be great. But I just, yes, that would be even better for that specific season. So, this is the KKW Times Chloe Sapphire Diamond. Sapphire, Sapphire Diamond. So this is a sapphire, beautiful, but once again, does not stand. Has to lay flat. Which is, again, kind of weird because you can't see it if it's in the back somewhere. But I kind of lay them in the front so you can really see them. Because it's a beautiful bottle. Like, it is. It's so beautiful. And it feels really, like, nice and just heavy. Very, very beautiful. Very pretty. When I passed the perfume over to you, I kind of got a hint of it already. Oh. <laughs> this one is amazing. Hmm. Do you smell blueberries? Please tell me you smell blueberries. I smell citrus. What? <laughs> I mean, at first, I kind of get citrus, too, but once it starts to settle, you'll get yes. more of a sweet, like, cakey, like... It does smell like that cake from the like, restaurant. That oh, it's smell blueberries? Kind of, yes. Oh, yeah. I showed Angel this, and he was like, I don't smell blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, let's look at the notes. Okay, so here's the opening, um, or the top notes. Mesmerizing Sea Breeze Accord. Mandarin Essence Italy Orper. Aha, citrus. Is that what? Yeah, citrus is like lime, lemon, like orange. No, but it, or, is that what that is? Oh, where did you read citrus? But like mandarin. No, but that's like. What oh, that is mandarin. Citrus. I'm sorry. It's because that was a long <laughs> name. Mandarin Essence Italy Orper. Okay, they're doing too much with that. <laughs> yeah, I sort of like the other website because they're not as descriptive. Crystallized blueberries. Okay, yeah, that makes and sense. And then the middle is. Ethereal Cobalt Wisteria Centric <laughs> Rose Essence Bulgaria Orber Delicious Toasted Pentatone Accord <laughs> Okay 
Capt and then the the bass notes are captivating. Oh wait, that's never mind. They have another fancy name for bass. Uh, whipped vanilla fluff, creamy tonka bean, sun silk sandalwood. Okay, so this is dramatic, but okay, so we looked up the notes a little bit better because of, uh, the KKW website is just too specific, too fancy with their words. Yeah. So the top notes are Italian Mandarin, blueberry. C notes. The middle notes are pentatone, probably saying that wrong, wisteria, Bulgarian rose, and the bass notes are my favorite, whipped cream, vanilla, tonka bean, and sandalwood. You so, know, <laughs> <but> okay. <laughs> I was right about the citrus this time because yeah, for some reason I'm smelling things that are not even in the perfumes. You were so, so right. I was that. right about that one. So what do you rate this one? You know what? I like this one. Oh my god! I do. It's my favorite too. She thought I was not gonna like it. It's not my favorite, but I do like it, and I would probably wear it. Yeah. What do you rate it? Um, I'll give it a seven. I give this seven. a nine. So I think I want to go with KKW. Is it by or times? Yeah, times. <laughs> times Jeff. Lethem Desert Rose. So I thought it was the cutest thing, first of all, and it's heavy. Like, feel this. No, oh. that's like it feels so luxurious. Yeah, it was heavier than I thought it was gonna be. The collection has three. I want all three, but I only have one right now. Interesting. But as it's drying down, it still smells very, very peppery. I don't know. Maybe on paper, it's a little bit different. Also, the packaging for this was amazing. Wow. Like, uh, that one is my the most favorite packaging ever. And <laughs> look at this. So cute. Like, wow. It doesn't actually stick really nicely, but if you have something very dainty that doesn't need a lot of support, that's beautiful. I've seen people put, like, a huge rose on. Um, well, I smelled gardenia in there, so definitely gardenia. To me, I get that pepper, and then, like I said, when I dries down on my skin, I smell vanilla. So here we go with the notes. So the top notes are mandarin blossom, pink pepper, cypress. The middle notes are tuberose, jasmine. And the base notes are musk, bourbon, vanilla, solar notes, which I don't know what that means, and amber. Wow. So a little bit. Surprisingly, I didn't get citrus. On the paper, it still smells peppery to me. So, what would you rate it? A 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10. I And, and it's funny because I was like, I think she'd like this one. Yeah. And it's her least favorite. And I'm so surprised that she liked the... Ooh. <laughs> she liked my favorite. There goes Kim. <laughs> Kim went falling down. Oh, so, no. I'm surprised she like really liked my favorite. Um... But I give it a 6 out of 10. It's very different. It's not something I would wear every day. Like, literally, no. <laughs> not every day. But I'll keep it around. It's a beautiful packaging. Okay, so I've heard a lot from other people reviewing this. And I have to agree. Packaging is so wasteful. Like, this is, a, this is the perfume. And this other half is just lid. Like, that's dramatic. I mean, I get it's it. Like, it's a lip. Oh. It'd be better if it was like a, like this. Right? Like a yeah. squish. Like a little squirt from here. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, but it yeah. Is, but it is so wasteful like this. It like, is. it's literally a whole another one with nothing. It's just lid. But, I mean, it's, I think it's one ounce. I don't remember. But this one has an award winning um, by Allure Beauty, you know, have you ever seen Allure mm -hmm. Beauty where they stamp stuff, like yeah. it's award winning? This one has that. I do like the packaging though, it is very pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. But it is wasteful. <laughs> it looks really pretty on your vanity, or your tray, oh, I missed. <laughs> this also reminds me of my childhood. Really? For some reason. A lot of childhood memories. The Kardashians here. knew me. Yeah, they did. It smells sweet to me. Um, it reminds me of the Brad Stolls for some reason. Brad Stoll? <laughs> do they do they have a scent? No. <laughs> what? There's like a memory. Yeah. Oh, you know what? It smells like 
like something I have. <laughs> it smells like lip gloss, like a lip gloss with scent. No, I know, I'm not just saying that because <laughs> it's lips, but like it has like a. If you've ever smelled scented lip gloss, it kind of smells like that. Some people say, I may be wrong on this, that it smells like her makeup. Like the be. way her makeup smells. It could like be. Like her liquid lips and yes, stuff. Yes, yes. The nude lips. Top notes. Solar notes. Spices. Lily of the Valley. Okay. Middle notes. Magnolia. Jasmine. Peony. Peony. Yeah. Peony. And the base notes is Tahitian vanilla, amber, and musk. So the only notes that I personally know and like in here are Jasmine and Tahitian Vanilla. I have no idea what the other ones smell like. <clears throat> I give it maybe like a six and a half out of ten. I give it a six too. A KKW times Kendall in Blue Rowan. This is this little beauty here. This is actually um, my husband's favorite out of the seven that I purchased. I was thinking he was going to say this one. Yeah. But he said it. <laughs> okay. He's a good man for that. <laughs> but here is his favorite. This one, I already know the first thing that you're going to say when you smell this, I think. I love the color of it. Yeah. It's beautiful, right? It is very, like, it's very elegant, classy looking. A lot of people love the packaging for this. They have a, a green one and, like, an orange one. Yeah. But I got this one because supposedly it's, like, their top seller. Um... And it smells amazing, and it lasts pretty good. Okay, so Blue Rowan, packaging, amazing. Let's smell it. Husband's favorite. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. What is I the first love thing? this one. I knew it. What's the first thing? Please tell me. I want to hear it. Popcorn. <laughs> Popcorn! <laughs> You're playing, right? <laughs> kind of. I did get like a little hit up. <laughs> okay, no, not anymore. <sighs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Say it, Alondra. What is this? Hold on. I, I. <sighs> okay, I get citrus, and I thought that's what she was going to say. Hold on. Yeah, okay, yes. Citrus, but. Hmm. But it's so fresh, a right? Specific citrus. Find it, find it's, it. It's, we'll uh, it up. Daisy, what is it? Mm. Wow. Are you ready to hear the notes? Or are you still want to think? Hold on. It's... <sighs> okay, you're going to be mad at Fine. these, though. Fine. Okay. Go. Top notes. White peach. Yes. I knew I smelled peach. White peach. C notes. Citruses. So I'm assuming lime, lemon, and orange. Um, middle notes, pear blossom, ylang ylang, geranium, vanilla, yay, love vanilla in there, amberwood, and musk. Angel loves this one. I do too. It's so fresh. I like it too. I don't, I don't know if I love it yet, but. Kendall, you did amazing. You did it's better than everybody. so fresh. Okay, what do you rate it? I will give it a 9 out of 10. Wow. I love it. I give this one a 7.5. And last but not least on the KKW is Wifey. Okay, what do you think of the packaging, honestly? Uh, it reminds me of the Valentine's Day, like, little heart candies. <laughs> I think that's what she meant because they were released on Val or before Valentine's Day. Um, the packaging, again, it's one of those that have to kind of lay not completely flat because it has a little groove on the end. Yeah. Where it kind of just... Okay, so it, that's not bad. So it's not bad. It's not bad. They have a ton of these, and I want all of them. Do I don't love the packaging. It's, yeah, I don't know. It it's is kind right. of weird. I mean, cute-ish. Yeah, it kind of feels a little wasteful too, but at least it's not half cap, half. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, like, like that one. Kendall or Kylie. Kylie. This one, also Angel loves. I honestly didn't even care what this smelled like. I just wanted it because it said wifey, because just got married. My ring's off because we were cooking, but... Sprayed my finger. <laughs> Can I go home smelling like all kinds of things? Mmm. All of these seem to remind me of something. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> I don't know. This one smells similar to. This one gives me like a wood. 
like wood vibes wood vibes like woody this one gives me like a mix of blue rowan with gardenia with gardenia a mix of both of those blue rowan and gardenia so like citrus and gardenia to me Okay, I know what this one reminds me of. It reminds me of a Coach perfume that I had. I really like this one. Let's talk about the notes. So the top notes are, whoa, I've never heard of this one. Yuzu, Violet Leaves, Pomelo. Middle notes are Mimosa, Dewdrop, Magnolia, Phrygia. Phrygia, is that my saying that right? Phrygia? Phrygia. I, I think. <laughs> Caramel. What? That's interesting. Base notes are caramel, whipped cream, and musk. Wow, look you know no vanilla. <laughs> oh, no vanilla, but mm. I do like caramel. Mm. That was the one I was forgetting earlier, caramel. Mm. Okay, I whenever I spray this on the skin and it dries down, I will say it starts to smell sweeter. Mm. Like a little citrus kind of just kind of fades out and you get the the sweet. I'm starting to get the sweet now, smell mine. Yes, like I was telling her, it reminds me a lot of the uh, coach perfume oh, that I yeah. had that actually smelled sweet and I surprisingly liked it, so. What do you rate it? I'll give it an 8 out of 10. <gasps> Me too! I was literally like 8, 8. Okay. That was the last KKW. That was the last of the KKW. Honestly, like, what do you think of the whole company? Like, well, we didn't try the whole company, but the 7 that we tried, <laughs> I think it's a good mix. Um, They're nice. I feel like a lot of them, like, reminded me of each other. Yeah. They so. do complement each other, it looks like. Obviously, I mean, they're made by the same company, so it looks like they have a style going, I would say. Like definitely, they all think I think they all had a white floral in it, and right? they all had vanilla with the exception of uh, this white feet. They did all have vanilla, maybe that's why I like them so much. It's amazing. Okay, so that is it, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that we had to change our quality here, um, but. I had lots of fun. Thank, Thank you me. so much for being on my channel. Thank you for having me. What's our next video? How about our next video can be uh, part two and it's with the perfumes that I like. Yes. So that means you got to get to shopping. At. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a collection already. You could bring it I kind of have a collection already. So whenever yeah. I bring them, um, they're going to be empty mostly. <laughs> but, you know you'll get to get some reviews from us yeah and see what you like. for sure and then if we buy something in between we could throw it in there too just to give some extra mm -hmm. we love smelling perfumes so yes, we, we can do it all day yes so that's it thank you so much for watching bye, bye.